You're listening to Aussie's Radio Half Hour. Here is your host, Aussie. Special early edition. Uh, I thought I'd I'd get up extra early. You can hear the possibly hear the birds chirping at the moment as we speak. Uh, my the episode that I'm I'm talking about today, um, or titled, is the world waking up now. Uh, in retrospect, yes, I think there are some positive aspects about uh, this whole debacle. If um, anyone is waking up, I think there's a few people that did uh, follow what was expected of them first up. But unfortunately, uh, or fortunately now, uh, sorry, fortunately, a lot of them have uh, turned over and uh, have uh, realised what they've done and they're on our side. So... Uh, we all bleed the same blood, and uh, yeah, um, welcome aboard if you are a first-time listener or a long-time listener, and uh, you are wanting to break out of the matrix, so to speak. Uh, I've been doing these podcasts for a couple of years now, I think mainly to uh, do it as some sort of a audio diary um to fight back against the system to help people out uh against the tyranny that's that surrounds us uh we're still we're still not there yet uh there is a lot of people as i said before there are a lot of people still waking up out of this but then again i still see people wearing their face muzzles their face diapers still taking the you know what shots um and uh yeah uh still censoring uh you know calling it misinformation uh whatever there is um there is a lot of pushback i know with the eu they've um i don't remember or recall uh the guy's name but there is there was a a uh a president or a senator or uh part of the European Union, um, there was a senator that was speaking out against uh, what was happening. Uh, Albert Baller, head of Pfizer, never showed up to these meetings uh, to put it all out on the table. So there is, uh, you know, somewhat of an admission of guilt. If they don't want to come to the table, then they are hiding something. Uh, and it's very concerning, um, or not concerning, so to speak, but well, it is and it isn't, but you should know that if, if someone doesn't really want to show their face in public, it means that they're hiding something. So, uh, you know, there are, there are a few people that are cottoning on, they're getting on Telegram, they'll you know, um, joining a lot of the groups on Telegram, Facebook. Uh, there is a, a Facebook group called Died Suddenly. Uh, I urge you to, 
go on that group, uh, join it, and see what people are saying on there. Uh, there's a lot of testimonials of uh, people that have died from the, uh, you know, what pineapple shot. Unfortunately, I can't say what it really is because I may or may not be censored and or banned or struck from face, uh, not Facebook, um, YouTube. Uh, Facebook's another story. Um, I was recently uh, on another ban on Facebook all for posting a meme from last year. And uh, yeah, that got me another 30 days. So I think I've got another 10, maybe 12 more days in in Facebook jail. So I'm hardly ever on there. Uh, I do. We do have a radio page on Facebook. If you are interested, uh, just type in Aussie's Radio Half Hour and it will take you to a page. Unfortunately, because I've linked it to my personal account, um, I've been getting so many bans on, on Facebook that I've been unable to service my um, the Aussie's Radio Half Hour account as I should. So, And, and I don't feel like making a, a new profile in the metaverse universe. So I think I'll leave it leave it alone, I guess. Uh, just uh, another thing too. Um, yeah. There are a lot of things coming out. There's, uh, you know, they're saying that a lot of these uh, these medical things are, you know, the uh, clot shots are, are bad. They're no good. Don't take them. Uh, and rightly so. Um We've even had a lot of uh, different things happening. Uh, the war on Ukraine and Russia um, is starting to heat up. There was a lot of conjecture whether uh, the whole thing was, was a bit too organised or a bit fake. Um, earlier on, yes, I can, I can totally agree, um, you know, that it may... I'd say, you know, they, if they want to push something, an agenda, they usually make it fake first up and then they somehow kind of create it, add some realism to it. It's like Hollywood, the movies, you know, they they have the screenplay and they set it up and they, they write it and then they add the special effects, green screen it, do whatever they want with it. Um yeah, it's uh, amazing what they can do. But you, you got to think of Hollywood as being a movie studio um, as also being a television studio because that's all that's all uh, television is. That's all the news is. It's a Hollywood. It, it's, uh, it, it's basically just a, a movie every day. Um, you listen to it on your radio, um, you know, they they put it up on the TV, you know. Uh, Skyhooks, they, um, if you listen to their song, Horror Movie, there's a line in that song that says, Horror Movie, right there on my TV, uh, shock, shocking me right out of my brains. And uh, look, I'm an 80s child. I was born in the 80s, the mid-80s. Uh, but I am very fond of... Uh, Shirley Strawn and Skyhooks and, and their music, Red Simons, et cetera, et cetera. Um, they did, I, I honestly think um, Shirley was targeted. I think he knew a lot about what was going on uh, behind closed doors with Molly Meldrum and uh, a lot of other people there. So I'm not going to go into that today. I may or may not. We, we don't know. Uh, I um I don't know if you can hear the, the birds are just chirping. So I thought I'd get up early. Um, I didn't really get much sleep last night. I'm kind of doing this radio program a little late, a little early, a little I don't know how would you say it, uncoordinated, um, no script, no nothing. Just going off what I feel. And uh, yeah, 
There is a lot of uh, tension, I think, uh, I've noticed between uh, people in the truth, so-called truth movement. Uh, that is going to happen. I don't take favourites to people. Um, I, I have noticed, you know, Max Ogden, PK, they're, they're kind of rivals in the truth scene. Uh, I tend not to get involved. Uh, look, I, I am, you know, they, they do, they both put out uh, good things. Uh, there may be some things that I disagree with both of them, um, but that doesn't mean I can, you know, still get along with, with both people or, um, you know, and look, I have, I have met PK and he's a, he's a good, good bloke. Um, you know, and, uh, I haven't met Max, so I don't know. But what he's told me that he's done him wrong. Okay, fair enough. If you've done someone wrong, uh, yeah, you should um, be uh, told about it, reprimanded, whatever. You know, uh, if you're causing violence to anyone, then uh, yeah, you shouldn't um, you shouldn't be doing that. So I'll leave it at that. I'm not going to talk any more about it, but. Uh, if anyone's listening, PK or anyone else, look, I still like you. I still, you know, uh, doesn't mean that I'm, you know, want to move to Mexico and be with Max, but I'm just saying. But there's a lot of there's a lot of other people out there. There's there's a lot of people that are feuding, and uh, you know, and a lot of people are saying, oh, let's come together and unite. And you know, it is pretty hard when you've got a lot of people that are are at each other and they. You know, they do want to one-up each other. But, look, I'm just here just to do my own thing, you know. So, anyway, um, and and the protests, you know. I'm not, I, at first, I was I was a firm believer in, in uh, protesting as much as possible. But um, with the current climate, uh, the con controlled opposition with the protesting movement, I, um, yeah, I just don't really want to um, be a part of it. And... Uh, you know, lately I've been on their their live feeds and their live chat, and I've may may or may not have uh, you know ruffled a few feathers with people and um, calling them out as being fake and paid protesters and all that. I actually got a a five minute ban on one of their uh, live feeds. I think it might have been like Auditing Australia or something. But uh, yeah, shout out to Auditing Australia. <laughs> <coughs> you know. I'm not going to say nothing about him. I, I don't, you know, I think good on him, but you know, I'm not. Re I don't really agree with a lot of things that he says or does. But you know, um, look, I've been protesting before. I've been to the, a few protests earlier on, and um, a lot of them now they're very politically motivated. Um, you've got a lot of the free dumb parties uh, that are um, networked together and uh a lot of these freedom parties have their ties with liberal mostly a lot of the liberals um i don't think many labor candidates would uh want to join them i think they're mainly like liberal pauline hansen kind of you know one nation kind of things entities but these people are all controlled opposition. You got to remember that, folks. They're, they're all, they're, as um, a lot of others have said, that these politics is is only going to get you so far. It's not going to get you the remedy. So, um, look, I've been, I've been, uh, you know, just doing my own thing. I've done a few, um, you know. Uh, Recently, I, I went, uh, you know, to see my local MP. I think it was about a couple of months ago, and quizzed him on a lot of things and asked him the tough questions. Um, look, I was I was pretty nervous. So I thought I may have, yeah, you know, if if things got too out of hand, that I was going to get thrown out. Um, if he knew I was recording him, for sure I would have been thrown out. But um, I had to, you know be kind of covert with a lot of this stuff. If I was to film him outright, then he would have thrown me out. So I had to be really careful. That's, that's, you just have to be smart about it. If you want to, 
I'm not, you know, I'm I am encouraging this, but I'm not encouraging this at the same time. Um, I encourage people to go and talk to their MPs and, and have a, a genuine concern. Call them up, email them, even if you have to visit them. Um, you know, on their on their premises, just don't get uh, just don't get arrested or anything like that. Don't have the police come up and, and arrest you. Uh, be safe. Uh, you know, just don't be be grey. Don't don't cause any attention to yourself. You know, as the saying goes, go grey. Um, another thing too, um, Victoria or Melbourne have had a lot of rain lately. Please don't drive through floodwaters. Um, don't risk it. Uh, what they're doing now. Is they're, they're using weather, weather mod modification to flood us out. Um, if you want more info, PK does a, you know a very good rundown of uh, of what it's all about and how they're doing it. Uh, I'm not the expert on it, so I don't really know much about it. But I've known of it for a long time. I've you know uh, I've spoken to a few people about it. Um, a few a few friends of mine from years back and uh yeah they confirmed with me all along that yeah this is um what's going on and yeah um yeah i just um done some research myself and looked into it and reconfirmed it myself if you look at the clouds every day they're not natural clouds they're just a blanket of clouds um you know and uh we're not supposedly we're not going to be having a really sunny summer if you have a look at it we're in late october it should be you know nice spring weather heading into summer the days should be a little bit hotter a little bit warmer it's averaging you know winter ish spring temperatures you know 20s at most and we're not really getting much sunlight so nothing really grows so you know um if you ever watched the simpsons years ago when mr burns wanted to block out the sun that's basically what they're doing now um and i could i could do a whole episode or two hours i can do a two hour special on um uh, on mac groaning and the simpsons and how you know he's a 33rd degree freemason and possibly you know, if it's if it's true, a visionary, a time traveler, um, a remote viewer, uh, a lot of a lot of the stuff that was done on The Simpsons uh, twenty years ago, twenty twenty five years ago, has now come uh, true. When they say the predict uh, the Simpsons predicted everything, well, yeah, that's that's somewhat true. You know. Um, they may not have gotten everything right to the T, but most of it has been uh, pretty accurate. Um, so yeah, um, flooding the flooding is basically just to um, get rid of the farms, um, cut supply lines, uh, have, make it hard for transport to transport goods, um, and make things cost more. Um, you know, if you can't get a truck through floodwaters and it contains fuel or diesel or food, uh, supplies that we need, you know, clothing as well, then uh, you're not going to get what you want or it's going to cost you more. And that's what's happened now. There's, I've, I've even been to the supermarkets recently. I bought a half a kilo bag of cheese, um, you know, shredded cheese. And there's only 300 grams. It looks like there's only 300 grams in it. Now, who do I complain to about that? You know, there's not really much we can do. Like we can. Like I, I encourage you if you've been, if you know you've been shortchanged, if you have enough, if you have the time to do it, complain. Look, 
at the moment. I don't. I'm a bit busy at the moment, and I probably would. But um, to me, at the moment, it's just not worth it. Um, if you want to do it, by all means. Um, I've had success with. I did buy a tub of ice cream probably about a few months back. And I've got a ten dollar voucher, so you know. And, and you know they send it out to you. So if you are struggling and you are, if you are, if you know that you're getting ripped off, then uh, of course, do that. If you've got the time, then do that. Um, so yeah, what they're doing is wrong. They're um, obviously they're uh, manipulating the weather, uh, turning the crops bad. And, uh, yeah, they're trying to starve us out. Uh, what else should I go on about? Oh, the, um, the uh, hacking. Don't believe any of the hacking events, the uh, Optus hacking events, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Look, I, I rate Optus. Um, if, you, if you've got the time, it, it's, it's 50 minutes, but I did put a video or a... Um, uh, yeah, I had a telephone call with uh, Optus and it went on for 50 minutes and I never got any answers out of what really happened with that um, that so-called um, hacking scandal. So what happened was apparently there was a, a major breach or a hack into people's personal details. And uh, yeah, I am um, I do uh, have a, an account with Optus. I do have my internet with Optus and phone. And lo and behold, um, I rang them up and told them what for. I said, look, this isn't right. Uh, you know, and, and the problem is they're offshore, they're in Philippines. A lot of these people are, are trained, are just trained NPCs. Uh, they can't think for themselves. Uh, there's just so many holes in this conversation. And you can tell that they're lying. They're trying to save face. Uh, they told me I, I got a hand in my license and get a new license at Vic Roads and uh, get a new Medicare card. If you do this, people, it's basically just pandering to the system. Um, you know, you're basically saying, "Govern me harder, Daddy. I want to go. I want a carbon credit score. I want to be on a social credit score." And I want no cash, right? I even um, had the same thing with my bank. I couldn't, um, and I, I still can't uh, get any money out of my bank account. Uh, and it's, what did I, I put on there? It was um, denied. I was, my card was declined. And uh, on the screen of the ATM, it said restricted access. So, what are we living in? Are we living in communist China, or or is this uh, freedom of uh, freedom in Australia? Like, aren't we supposed to be the lucky country? You know, where where the uh, the entomology of freedom in the world um, second to America? Are we that country? You know, and that question still still lingers. There's no answer to it. Um, a lot of dull NPCs would probably say, you know, a lot of lefties would probably say, yes, we have freedom. Yeah, you have freedom because it's one-sided, not because that, uh, you know, Joe Blow in the corner um, didn't take his uh, his pineapples in the arm and he doesn't wear a mask and he likes to pay things with cash and, you know, store food and hunt or fish or, you know, um, get prepped for survival. You know we're 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 marketed we're we're labelled as bigots and hate and hate it. We're we're, but the thing is, it's all coming out now. There's a lot of um, a lot of things that are coming out that are positive for us. And look, are people waking up? We don't know. Uh, I still can't answer that question. I really want to answer that question for you. Uh, slightly, uh, very slightly. I think there's a, you know, 
slight chance that it, that it is happening, but very slowly. Um, I've spoken to some friends and family uh, and recently, and uh, I don't really speak to them much, but I'll probably speak to a couple of close people in my family. But um, they say the same thing. They, they, they followed everything what was what was expected of them, and now they're questioning everything. And they, um, you know, they were once for it, and now they're, they're starting to be against it. So there is a bit of a tidal change. I think there was um, a, a survey done recently on a newspaper article or a, um, a news, I think it was news.com. They did a, a survey online and asked whether this um, this CVIDS-19 uh, was actually better for us to have this, you know, lockdown and the, the jabs and, um, you know, all this, all this garbage, you know, and I put down no to all of them. And uh, what surprised me was the uh, the pineapple rates, the people that got the pineapple in the arm rates. Uh, I said no, and uh, it came out with uh, nine. No, it was eighty three percent people took the pineapple. And seventeen uh, percent didn't. So that means that there was a lot of they, there was a lot of people that didn't uh, go along with it. That didn't get you know go with the uptake of it. So maybe that's why they're pushing a lot of stuff. You know, at the moment they're pushing a lot of um, this propaganda. And um, same with the news reports. They they wanted, you know, I heard on the radio the other day um, a news report that, that said one of the cricketers had the uh, CBIDs. And I'm thinking, isn't that, isn't it supposed to be gone? You know, it, why, are we still, why are we still doing this? You know, they need to do this so that they can get more of an uptake because they're not happy. They're um, they're losing money, um, and yeah, and the banks. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to call my bank today because I've been having a couple of sleepless nights over this. I'm not happy. Um, Commonwealth Bank, they are the worst. Um, but all the banks are, are the same, so there's no point in moving. Uh, I did ask about the social credit score thing that they put on there, and they completely denied any. You know. No, they didn't deny it, but they said, yeah, we put it on there as an extra. You don't have to sign up to it. It's only if you want to do it. We've just added it to your Commonwealth Bank app or whatever it is, your ComBank app. You don't have to, um, you know, uh, add it to your, your home screen or whatever. It's just there in the background. And I'm thinking, I said, I said to them, take it off. I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> but I, this is a whole thing. I did ask her. I said, "Are we are we going into a cashless society?" She couldn't tell me. You know, she she reassured me that cash was going to be always available, and that I would be reinstated to get cash out of my account, in which I was lied to. Uh, I did record the, the phone conversation. Um, if I do have any bad beef with them. Uh, I will maybe put it up on YouTube. I'm not sure. Uh, I will record um, my other interaction with the bank um, when I when and if I I'll make sure that I do call them today. Uh, I I was going to pop into the branch, but you look at the lines that are coming out of those those branches. A lot of people want their money. I think a lot of people want their money out of the banks. That's why lately I've been seeing long lines coming out of the banks. My, uh, I'm not I'm not, not a financial expert, but um, my theory of this all is that uh, diversify, diversify as much as you can. Uh, cryptos, uh, private wallets. Uh, actual physical cash, get as much out of your bank as possible. 
physical gold, silver, uh, even coins, uh, you know, actual, you know, um, coins, coin collections, uh, stamp collections, anything that's worth of, of intrinsic value that you could possibly trade in the future um, is of use to you. Um, what can I say? Look, uh, we are we are getting there. It is a it is a long road. Uh, there are a number of people waking up that you know. So we've been told, uh, but we do have a long way to go. There there is some sort of a realization that something isn't right. So that is the first step of um, people starting to to um, wake up and, and see what's really going on. Uh, it is a hard road. We've been lied to. That's that's a problem. And a lot of people are, um, you know, still putting pushing their head into the sand, and we're just yelling at them, trying to wake, get them to wake up. Um, so, and look, I'm not even. I'm like the rest of everyone. I'm unsure whether to keep going, but I will keep going. Um, <laughs> it's like I've been watching a lot of Max Eigen. and I can't, I can't, you know, you know, throw stones at me, throw rocks at me. Um, but he said it best when, uh, you know, he he did say, uh, "I'm not really sure if I want to continue on anymore." And look, maybe he's been targeted. Maybe, you know. He's not doing what he's supposed to. I know he works closely with Jeff Berwick. Jeff Berwick does he he puts a few good memes out there and does a decent show. You know, I do like Jeff Berwick. Max Ivan does a, a pretty good job too. I just think they're both controlled in a way. They're all controlled opposition. Even going back to Alex Jones as well. Um, the Alex Jones case was a was a show was an actual showcase. That's where you get the word showcase, I think. Um, and it's basically just to, sh to set a precedent to shut down the likes of myself and other smaller channels that are trying to bring out the um, the truth and the way. So I'm going to leave it there. Um, it is, you know, it is half an, over half an hour. <laughs> I've given. It might even be up to the 33 minute mark, just about. We are just about up to the 33 minute mark. I am not a Freemason, <laughs> but um, it's just just coincidental, as they say. Um, and and I'll, I can even talk about that too. Like uh, I, I've been learning a lot about it, about uh, the occult, Freemasonry. If you want to learn all that stuff, I would suggest uh, Mark Passio would be the best guy to, to go to. Uh, Dale H from Australia is doing a, he, he often mentions him as well. So, um, but in the meantime, guys, stay safe. Don't drive through, through floodwaters. Try not to drown out there. <laughs> it is wet. Don't slip and hit your head. Try not to go to hospital. Uh, Stay out of the doctor's surgery and, of course, look after yourselves and look after one another because we all need it at this moment. So uh, I bid you good day, good luck, and hope your day is full of joy. Okay, thank you and good day.